Hello everyone and welcome to artist.com. Today I'm going to show you how to finish your necklace and bracelets by adding clamshells. Now though this is the last step, this is the first thing you need to know before you could start off making your own jewelry. So for this, now I already have a beaded bracelet that I'm making, okay? And you would need some earring hook, clamshells, seed bead and crimp beads. Now you wonder why I'm having these earring hooks and seed beads now they are for some tricks I would like to share with you okay now and this is my bracelet so you're done with your own jewelry we are going to slide this clamshell now clamshell is something that looks like this okay you can actually find it in other necklaces you have have you noticed this before something like this you know why do they use this for this is to make your beads stay okay they, they can actually hold all the beads together very tight so that your necklace has no chance of breaking and this is really really very easy okay now take one end of your jewelry okay now your clamshell will have a small opening right here so we are going to pass this thread to an opening here and slide our clamshell down ok now once this is done you get something called crimp beads ok now crimp beads they are very small beads that can actually be squashed and once they are squashed they actually stay very intact to your thread you cannot move them once you squashed it so suppose if you don't have these crimp beads okay a very small trick is you have these earring, uh, earring hooks right so, you see a bead here all you need to do is you need to open this loop here and take your bead off now this is just in case if you don't have a crimp bead this actually works very fine now we are going to pass this bead down Now I'm going to show you how to squash these beads. Now you can use your nose plier to squash this. It doesn't matter. Now just keep your nose plier on the bead and press it harder. Now this works fine only with some of your earring hook beads. Because um, some earring hook beads are made of plastic so they might actually break but you can actually give it a try. Who knows you might get lucky, right? Now you can see this bead is squashed. Now you can't move this bead. Okay. Now move your clamshell in such a way that the crim bead is in between the clamshell. Okay. And now we are going to close the clamshell. We just need to close it this way. Now do not press the clamshell too much and there is a chance of the clamshell breaking. There you go. Now the thread is safe and secured inside and you can cut the extras off. Now this clamshell actually makes your necklace stay very intact and actually gives a very clean finish at the edges. And what we do here is we 
we try to close this loop leaving some space for our hook or whatever you are going to use to close your necklace okay that we will see later now see you'll have something that looks like this once you're done now having the same clamshell on the other end might be a little more trickier because you cannot leave some space here and suppose if you are going to have your clamshell here you are going to have this gap in between and your beads will keep sliding right so you need to be even more careful and keen about using your clamshell on this end okay now for this you can repeat the same step what I've just done on this end by using crimp beads from or uh, beads from the earring hooks. Okay, the same method I just showed you some while ago. And I also have one more trick. You can actually use something called seed beads. Now you can find these beads on your um, designer clothes or some applique work or you can actually find them very easily now go check your clothes and just see if you can find these beads okay now these beads are made of plastic or glass now they cannot be squashed okay if you squash them they're going to break so just in case if you don't have uh, crimp beads so on emergency you can use these seed beads very well so there is a slight trick on using these seed beads. Now imagine this is a seed bead. Now that is too small to demonstrate so I am using a bigger bead now. Now this is a seed bead. What I am going to do is I am going to take the end of the thread okay and definitely there is a hole here right. I am going to pass the thread again through this hole for the second time and just pull it and when you pull it the bead is locked actually now when you see this bead cannot be moved it is actually locked so this is the mechanism that we are going to use with the seed bead okay now let me put this bead to its place now first always insert the clamshell only after you slide the clamshell down you can squash the beads or use the seed bead technique okay now this is a seed bead I'm going to insert my thread through this and I can try to bring it as close as I can now this is very minute so I am very sure you cannot bring it all the way down okay there will definitely be a gap so so try to bring it as close as you can and pass it again through the hole here and take it out okay now don't lock your bead immediately now I need to bring this seed bead right here very close isn't it so this end of the thread you need to keep pushing and bring this bead down okay okay once you're bringing this bead down you can lock it with your fingers and pull this end again do it now keep doing this until you find your bead coming very close to the clamshell okay now this is I think this is close enough to the clamshell there is no gap there is no much gap right now try to push this as far as you can into the clamshell and now repeat the same step 
be very careful make sure that the seed bead is always smaller now you're going to close this okay that's it once you close this it's all done and you can cut your extras now you have your bracelet ready with clamshells attached now there is no chance of your jewelry getting loose or breaking now this is a very neat finish isn't it it looks really pretty now try this yourself insert your clamshell using crimp beads and if not for crimp beads at the time of emergency you can use beads from your earring hooks or use a seed bead now if you come across some tips and tricks while experimenting with your own jewelry don't forget to let me know thanks for watching the video i shall meet you in the next one